Hello folks, this is Dave Turley of Top5Programs.com bringing you the 18th of my Lee Sleep video training series. And in this video, we're going to have a look at how to add a clickable banner or image or logo to the top of each of your emails in your SendSteed autoresponder series. Now, in video 16, I showed you a quick and easy way to add a header image to every one of your emails, but that image is not clickable. Uh, just to remind you how it was done, we went to List Manager, chose our list that we want to work with, hit the cog and hit the cog and come to the list customization page. And it's here in the brand name logo where you enter the URL for that image. Uh, you upload the image to your image gallery and from there you can uh, enter the image gallery link into the brand name logo field and it will show up in your emails. And this image is the one I added for demo purposes and this is how it looks. But the image does not click out to any other website that option is not available. Um, if you try to add HTML to the uh, image inside this field, the banner will appear to be clickable on the list customization panel page, but the banner will not show up in your in the emails when they go out. The HTML code corrupts the banner and it does not show. So that is not possible. Also, uh, the acceptable input text, if you're using span, does not include a way to redirect. There's no redirect code there. So it seems that uh, Kenneth Code does not really want us to redirect from the header. However, it is possible, of course, to uh, place banners inside your the body of your email. And so if you want to make a banner at the top of your email clickable, that's the way we're going to have to go. And what it means is that you're going to have to manually add the banner to each email that you have in your series if you want the banner to be seen in every email. So to do that and to make it a top banner, what we're first going to have to do if we already have a header banner is remove the header banner. So let's just do that and save and activate. And now the banner has gone. So then let's come through to our email series and we'll set up a clickable banner, first of all, in our welcome email. Now we want it to be at the very top of the email like a header, looking like a header image. To do that, we don't want to enable smart greeting because smart greeting appears above everything in your email body. So we'll uncheck that if it's checked and we will set up the banner. Now, for demo purposes, I'm going to work with a banner that will click through to the free Bitcoin website. I already have a free Bitcoin banner uploaded to my Leesleep image gallery. So let's come over to image gallery from the body of the email. And this is where you would add your image. But I've already got I've already got a free Bitcoin banner and here it is. Let's add it. So there it is in the top of uh, the body of the uh, email with that unchecked. So it should appear at the very top. Now let's make it clickable. So you click on it, click the chain, grab our URL and put it in and we'll have the target page open in a new window. And I guess we can center it as well. Okay. 
And so if we do want to greet our subscribers, we manually enter dear and first name here. And I think a comma will be OK. So there we are. Let's save the changes to that email. And send a test. Send a test to my email account and see what it looks like. And there is the clickable banner right at the top. It opened in a new window. That's what we want. Now, just to show you what it looks like if you if you have the enable smart greeting enabled instead of a manual first name down here, you'll see that it doesn't do the job. There we go. The hi demo name appears, the greeting appears above the banner. That's why we don't want to we don't want to uh, enable the smart greeting if we want the banner to appear like a header at the top of the page. So dear first name is the way to go. OK, now having got that far, what we're going to have to do each time we want to add the header to our emails. We're going to have to do it manually. And so what we can do is grab the source code from here. And we'll grab also the first name source code. There we go. Just grab that source code and then add it to the top of your next email. to the HTML. We're going to put it, perhaps it'll work if we put it there. Let's have a look at that. OK, there it is. And send it as a test to have a look at it as it appears in your inbox. OK, that's fine. So it appears like a header. It's clickable. Dear demo name, blah, blah. So although it means a little bit of messing about with each email, it is possible to add a clickable banner to the top of your emails if you really want to. I hope that helps. And if anybody does know a quicker workaround where you can enter the code once, set it and forget it, let us know and I'll make a video about that. But I suspect that is the only way to add a clickable email to the top of your email series so that it appears like a header. OK, folks, that's all for me, David Hurley of Top5Programs.com. Until the next exciting Leads Leap training video.